Well, our forecast is looking top notch for the next few days, but of course, it's not all sunshine across the board. California is about to get hit with another round of heavy rainfall. And here to tell us what that means for the Golden State is meteorologist Natalie Nunn. Well, well, good afternoon or almost afternoon, everyone. One week ago, San Diego looked like this. Streets underwater, people stranded, and water rescues from home. San Diego had gotten more rain in three days' time than the past three months combined, and a lot of that water actually came in just a couple of hours. They've had a little break, but they're about to get hit again. So you may be asking, why so much rain? Well, here's your answer. You may have heard of an atmospheric river. It's kind of a trendy term right now. You hear it in the mainstream. Well, it is a stream in the atmosphere. <laughs> They're long, narrow regions. Think of the rivers in the sky. The giant band of water vapor pushes inland and on average is about 200 to 400 miles wide, so it is large. This can bring crazy amounts of rain or further inland, it could actually turn to snow if it's cold enough. Now we're in an El Nino year. This is when the atmospheric rivers are flowing on the west coast. To put it in perspective, the rivers can vary greatly in strength and size. The average atmospheric river is very similar to the output, the strength of the Mississippi River. I'll have more on our website. This is also known as the Pineapple Express. So if you hear that in the news over the next couple of days, now you know what it is. <laughs> Andrew.